2015 awards of the New Zealand Association of Scientists. Um, we very much appreciate you taking the time to come and celebrate with us and our medalists tonight. Um, um, my name is Nicola Gaston, for those of you who might not know me. I'm the past, the immediate past president of the New Zealand Association of Scientists. And my duty here tonight is pretty much simply to introduce you to the new president of the association, uh, Associate Professor Craig Stevens, who is going to officiate over the proceedings. So please, Craig. Uh, Tenakoto, Tenakoto, Tenakoto Katoa. Um, thanks. I, you know, I always laugh about this when you get applause before you've done anything. Um, it's uh, so. so um, like Nicholas said, I've only been in the in the role for a month, and in fact, the day after um, it was handed over, I disappeared to Antarctica for three and a half weeks. So very much still coming to terms with with the sort of um, the the reins that I'm trying to grab onto. But the more you read about it, the, and the more you talk um, to sister organisations and the Royal Society, I think you see a role for this association. Um, and then you delve into the history of the association, so we're looking at around 75 years next year, I believe, and you see that many of the issues that we're dealing with now have been going on right from the outset. So the association started uh, in the Second World War, it was actually the Association of Scientific Workers and so you get a sense of its sort of left-leaning um, perspective there, but it quickly um, drew back to being an association of scientists, and it was about many of the things that we still face now. We're looking at um, ability to talk to the public, diversity, um, wages, employment, and also what we've got to remember is actually pushing the need for having science as part of our society. And so, and, and just, kind of timely, um, I sort of learn on the job. I was at the constituent organisations meeting yesterday here at the Royal Society, and it was really uh, very useful for me to see the role that the association plays in a sort of an overarching pan-science, pan-discipline thing, where we're, where, I mean, to some, ex to some extent, there's a, there's a strong political role there to promote science and scientists and the organisations that underpin what folks are doing. Um, and so, so there's sort of, um, I, I guess there's a high profile in the media and some of it is kind of um, contentious, but then there's the other side and um, that relates to celebration of um, some of the careers, some of the work, some of the achievements that uh, we as a, as a component of society pull off. And so that's what's so exciting about tonight is to get you here and to reward um, several folks for, for what amounts to being huge um, sort of collection of resources and achievement and intellect. And so um, I'm sure you'll enjoy hearing from the, the four um, sets of medalists, it gets complicated, um, tonight. So before we get into it, um, uh, the minister, uh, Stephen Joyce, could not make it tonight. Um, he's probably in um, Vietnam or somewhere in between, but he did send a letter um, to read out. Um, so imagine I'm him. I'm pleased to have the opportunity to share this message of best wishes for the 2015 New Zealand Association of Scientists Awards. I apologise I'm unable to be there to celebrate with you. Science and innovation are of increasing importance to New Zealand, with our future prosperity reliant upon the creation and adoption of new ideas, products and services. The National Statement of Science Investment, launched last month, sets out how we are creating a larger, high performing and more flexible and responsive science system that will adapt to change. We have made it clear that the government will continue to support businesses in increasing their investment in R&D, while also seeking to increase public investment in transformative, ideas-led discovery research. It is here that the role for direct government investment is most clear. New Zealand has a strong history of using science to solve critical issues. I don't believe it is any accident that some of the world's greatest scientists have come from New Zealand, and congratulations to the winners of this year's awards. So, um, sincerely, Stephen Joyce. So, um, Without any more ado, uh, we'll get on to the first award, 